Okay, so it's time for weather. Um, and Jasmine, I'm glad it's not going to be one degree here. At least I don't think it is, right, Jason? <laughs> I saw that you looked at me. You're like, whoa, I, I don't think it is, right? I no, hope not. Something might happen. The short answer is no, it's not going to be one degree. But depending on where you are, you could have more than an inch of snowfall Ooh. for most out there across northeast Ohio. So let's dive into the forecast right now. I want to start out by showing you what snow mode looks like right now. Just some light trace drizzle, even some light flakes moving through portions of Cuyahoga County at this point. Nothing too terrible, nothing too high in terms of accumulation. But we do have two new counties now posted as far as the winter storm watch, at least the advisory is concerned for late Sunday night into early Monday storm. You can see where this winter storm watch includes portions of Trumbull, Ashtabula County, even our southern counties, Tuscarawas County, and also Carroll County. That's late Sunday through early Monday. But of course, we'll talk about that in just a few seconds. As I said before, this is where temperatures are cruising late tonight. Low 20s, upper teens expected. Feels like temperatures, Jay, will not be in the single digits, but it could be in the lower teens for us tonight. As far as the snow is concerned, tonight just a few flakes. Tomorrow, not bad. Tomorrow will be very cold, and, and in fact, we'll talk about that not getting out of the mid to low 20s, but that Monday clipper system is what's going to be taking over. So where is it right now? Where it's well over into the Midwest, this is likely the closest that it's going to be by the time, at least until we get to perhaps late Sunday into early Monday. We have a deep trough. This is what we've been talking about all week long. A deep trough is set up. The, uh, the, jet, the jet stream is basically steering this well down towards the south where heavy rain, some freezing precipitation, even some snowfall will be accumulating from Georgia up through the Carolinas. And it's going to be caught up in a Gulf Stream. This Gulf Stream is really going to provide a lot of moisture for this storm system as it crisscrosses the country. So take a look at this timeline here. The week ahead will likely have this storm system coming down south. It'll fetch all of the energy from the Gulf of Mexico. We'll have what's called cold air damming coming in from the north on the, uh, the on the lee side of an area of high pressure. That will lock in the cold air, but likely have some warmer air aloft, creating some freezing precipitation. This is going to be a dangerous situation for many people there in the Carolinas. As it comes north, we're going to be on the north and western side of it. So we could still have some warming air a lot for us, but I think because we'll be closer to the lake, we'll have northerly winds coming on in. Anything that we receive will likely just be snowfall. So don't get too caught up on the numbers. We want to provide you with some ranges here. The impact is going to be what we are really going to be watching, but anywhere from perhaps five to eight inches and beyond far east, perhaps even about four to six along the I-71 corridor and even at least I-77 corridor and then less than three inches there. I-71 and back towards the west. So whew, by the time that's all done, we should be good to go. Here's your Union Home Mortgage seven day outlook for you, my friends. By Tuesday and Wednesday, a little bit still snowy, but again, not as bad. Late Sunday into Monday, Jay, this is what we're definitely going to be talking about. I think it's a win because I see nothing that says one degree. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. That's a win. That is a win. All right, thanks, Jason. We'll see you in the next half hour.